Hello, everyone. Hi. Hi, in the front, over here. Yeah. Hey. Hi, congratulations on the win. Thank you so um, much. How are you feeling, and how will you be celebrating? Um, I'm pretty elated, I have to say. I'm not. Uh, as soon as I went backstage, I think the emotion just poured out of me. And uh, I think it was hu hugging Jimmy Kimmel and crying at the same time, and uh, just trying to not get anything on his suit. Uh, but uh, this is, you know, a moment that uh, obviously uh, will be etched in my memory. And if it's not, I think I can replay it on a television set every once in a while. But I'd probably be ridiculous for doing that, so I won't. But. Uh, for me to stand here as, uh, you know, not, uh, not the typical leading man and to have come home with this, I think speaks a lot about uh, where, we, where we're headed. And I think we can just keep going further in that direction. Uh, obviously, not just limited to entertainment, but socially and politically to continue and strive to be as progressive as possible. Yes. Rami, does it feel real to you now? Does it feel real to me now? It's setting in. I'm, I was sitting there and uh, the category came up and I just, for a second, I was like, I'm not incredibly nervous because I truly was waiting to hear someone else's name. And I thought, those guys are fantastic. It, it, I'm going to hear Bob or I'm going to hear Kevin or I'm gonna hear Kyle or, or Matthew. And I just, when I heard my name, I said, do not move because it wasn't you. And uh, then faces started to turn towards me. I think I must have you know, looked like I was in shock. And uh, so I am remembering it. But uh, yeah, it's, it's a moment that I don't think, I believe it, yes, and I won't forget. Congratulations. Over here to your what? Hi. <laughs> Hi. Congratulations on your win. Thank you so much. I have to ask you, do you feel you have anything in common with your character apart from your looks, of course? Uh, <laughs> that's funny. Um, do I have things in common? I think we all have things in common with him. I think uh, we live in a world right now where so many of us feel uh, voiceless like we're not being heard by our governments, we're not being heard by our society. I think, uh, you know, I grew up in a, f I grew up in a, a family that immigrated here. And, uh, you know, my dad worked door to door to sell insurance and my mom was pregnant with my brother and I uh, going to work, uh, taking three buses going to work so that uh, she would, they would give their children a, a opportunity to be special. And uh, my sister's an ER doctor, my brother's a teacher, and I'm standing here today. And I think a lot of people can relate to wanting an opportunity. And I've wanted an opportunity, and now I have it. And I just want everyone, no matter how, how you grew up, your, your socioeconomic standard that you were born into, to have an opportunity regardless, to not be stifled uh, in this time in the world, but to be given a chance, like I've been given a chance. Hi. Hey. Uh, uh, I have a silly question. Um, can you share with us for season three any kind of theme that you and Sam might be talking about? Like, it was always said that season two was darker. Is season three gonna be more optimistic or season two was also about revolution? Is it gonna be more optimistic? Are you going global? Any, any one word or two words you can say about season three? Um, absolutely not. I mean, <laughs> come on, he's, he'd kill me. I have shot a scene from season three. Bad news? 
Rami, congratulations. Thank you, Cynthia. Thank you. Um, t talk about, the, you know, one of the things that just blew everybody away is how you, how you managed to telegraph that, the mental illness of e Elliot. Can you talk about how you get in the headspace to play those scenes? Um, how did, you know, when I first started, uh, I just thought, how do I do this that uh, reflects truly what people are suffering through? And it's not just, you know, an in, in actor's depiction of it for the sake of being entertaining or, um, or dramatic. And so um, I read a couple, a couple books. I, I forget the names now. I had them uh, in my memory, but I believe her name was Ellen Sachs had wrote a book about melan uh, mental mental illness, um, and then I sought out a therapist uh, named Jenny Mori, who uh, I would just ask question after question after question, and God bless her because uh, I can be relentless, and she listened, and um, she was one that said, people have a really hard time getting it right in television and film, and so Ultimately, I didn't want my performance to suffer, but moreover, I didn't f want anybody to feel like I was doing them a disservice or an injustice with a performance that wasn't accurate. So I just dig, dig, dig in every night and uh, try to put myself in a headspace of what someone like that is suffering with and attempt to get as close as possible. Thank you. Thank you all very, very much. Seriously, for all your writing on the show this whole year, since day one, you guys, I don't really think we would be standing here or have these opportunities at every award show if you guys uh, didn't take the time and patience to write so thoughtfully about something that we all think is very progressive. Thank you.